Hi guys, I'm back. <laughs> I know, I know, I did it again. I went in my, I'm as old a black history mom. It's literally March 1st and I'm recording this, but like, I woke up and I was still black. Black history month never stops here, so. <laughs> Well, first of all my hair you guys see how much my hair has grown like if you've been with me from the beginning then you know like my hair is like flourishing right now i really do low-key know what i'm talking about but that's another story for another day that's something we're talking about in this video in this video we are going to be talking about my favorite black owned product my shirt is from a black owned company it's a goddess dope shirt i think they're in atlanta if i'm not mistaken um the description to the shirt will be down below. I don't know if they still sell it because sometimes their stuff goes like in and out. But it says black women matter, period, because we do. And yeah, it is what it is. We're gonna like go in the order of my wash day. So we're gonna start with shampoo, then um detanglers, deep conditioners. Oh, I didn't do a leave-in conditioner because I don't really use them, y'all. But whatever, we're just gonna go through everything that I have here. So let's get started. Oh, see. It's been so long since I even recorded. I forgot to like say hi. Hi to the new people. I'm Nisha, naturally. Um, I talk about natural hair and how to take care of your hair and how to do wash and goes and a whole bunch of fun stuff. I'm crazy. Y'all really get the raw me. Like, this is me. That's all I can say. But um, yeah, be sure to comment, like, subscribe. Um, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is also Nisha Naturally. My TikTok is Nisha Naturally. And yeah. All that good stuff so let's jump right into it african black soap reviving shampoo by melanin i think it's like melanin hair care i don't know i could have added those last two things but it is what it is right now it looks like this um i got mine from ulta yeah i don't remember how much it costs i'll try to put the prices in the description it has tea tree soothing turmeric and black cumin seed I like this shampoo because, first of all, I really like the nozzle because uh, you probably don't think it does, but it really does come in handy. Instead of having to, like, dig in and get product or pump product, like, bruh, I'll be doing it straight on the scalp. That's where it goes. So, that's helpful in the shower. It smells like, here we go with the smelling stuff. Y'all know how much? I keep seeing dots. It's probably because the ring light is bright. Maybe I'm going blind. TBD. It smells like peppermint. That's what it smells like. It doesn't make your scalp tingle, which... You know, I love that. I don't mind when things make my scalp tingle. It makes me feel like it's working. But regardless of that fact, I still do feel like it works. It does make my hair so, so, so clean. Like, it really cleanses my hair without stripping it. That's important. If you have dry hair, I wouldn't recommend that you use this one. But people do make moisturizing shampoos. One that I can think of off the top of my head is the one from Pattern Beauty. That's Tracy Ellis Ross. She, um does pattern beauty their moisturizing shampoo is good i do use that sometimes but lately this one has been my go-to um this was started by i know that she started out as a youtuber and she has really really nice hair so i'm gonna link her below as well um you're gorgeous girl i started out watching your videos so yeah this is lovely it has directions how to use apply on wet hair apply to the scalp and work into lather after massaging the shampoo onto your scalp drag the excess lather down to the length of your hair to cleanse your hair to cleanse your hair strands and rinse away and that's exactly what i do i do it on my scalp and then Whatever excess I have, I just bring it down and I wash my hair. Yeah, love this stuff. Phenomenal. So next, we're going to go into detangling. Now, this is not a detangler. It's actually a hair mask, but I use it as a detangler because, like, definition is it's a, a master definition. It's not really something that I have a problem with. Like, I feel like my curls are, like, really always defined, but, like, whatever. So it's the pattern, treatment, definition, and curl elongation mask it looks like this i actually have a video of me trying it i'll link it somewhere here and i like to use this as my detangler because it does a good job of detangling my hair now it does do what it says it's going to do like it does help with curl definition but that's not why i use it i like to use like a real deep conditioner because even after you use this it still says to follow up with a deep conditioner so yeah i ain't like some of that so it comes in a tub like this as you can see i used it it was up here and i was like right here it's like this it smells citrusy like it smells like lemongrass i think i never i never smelled lemongrass <laughs> but i think that if i did smell lemongrass this is what it would smell like 
it does not have the like consistency of like a deep conditioner it's like kind of like a jelly it reminds me of you guys can't see well that's what it reminds me of but yeah it does a really good job for me for me for me you gotta say that sometimes because people be like i use that and then i do that for me it does a good job at detangling my hair and i like it i also got this from ulta so yeah they also sell um you know some targets are like have ulcers in them not my target of course my life would never be that simple it says it's great for coilies and tight textures when your hair needs a spa day i do think that if you struggle with curl definition this would definitely help with that because it helps define my curls and to me my curls are ready to find i'd be like damn girl how much more define can you get but like if you are struggling with curl definition get this thank you for coming to my TED talk and now deep okay so my closet won't close because i have like 500 pairs of sneakers and a box fell and i didn't feel like it in the box because if i did i probably would have would not have recorded so all right deep conditioners my go-to black owned deep conditioner is from ottawa it's from ottawa blue it's the blue tansy reparative mask it strengthens and repairs damaged or colored hair so, like I said, it strengthens and repairs your hair. It says do with it kinky way at the back. <laughs> nice play on words. Oh my god. I lost my train of thought. Oh, let's see what it looks like. It is not blue. So, this is what it looks like. As you can see, my fingers done been all up and through this. This is very, very thick. Like, it's very, very thick. I'm so thick get this that i'm actually not gonna put my hand in it and show it to you guys because i used it in one my wash day routine video so i'm gonna link that up here as well i like this product because when my hair when i feel like my hair is not lasting as long as i need it to this is when i use this because it does do what it says that it's going to do like i i notice a difference when i use this when my hair is like like it's like it's not looking its best like it'd be a little sick so that's when i use this and it works well it does not have slip because it's a, a very thick product like it's very rich the smell it doesn't smell like shea butter but it reminds me of shea butter don't know if that helps i would recommend this product especially if your hair is damaged because my hair is not damaged and it works wonders so i can only imagine what it would do for someone who like actually actually needed it to like make a miracle happen so ottawa beauty this is what it looks like i don't remember if i showed it this is but light is too bright but guess who's not gonna dim it down me <laughs> all right so after i deep condition then i move on to my stylers i actually have two stylers here first uh they should be rather obvious to you guys because i did a video on both of them <laughs> so First, we have the Curl Defining Hair Jelly from Bomb Ass Fro, Black Owns. I found about the found out about them on uh, Instagram. That's what it looks like. It's empty. You know why? Because I actually use it. I love it. It's not what's in my hair right now. What is in my hair right now is not Black Owned, so we're not gonna discuss that. But I will do a wash and go on it. This is what it looks like. It has like a perfumey scent. So like, if you don't like perfume, it, I mean, it's it's faint, but like, I can see how it could it's faint you'll be okay this is a good gel get this i would say this is like a medium hole gel so this is my favorite medium hole gel black owned yeah i love it it does what it's supposed to do it works really really well when your hair is like soaking soaking wet and you shingle bruh fire so yeah i highly recommend this and then <laughs> come on now y'all know what my favorite gel is <laughs> Actually, I've really been trying to stay away, steer away from um, stronghold gels because I like when my hair is bigger now. When my hair was shorter, it was like all about like keeping it together. Now I like when it's like ah, I'm crazy. I know. But this is Jello Shot. It's from Eco Slay. If you like, nah, yeah, listen to me because this this is like real stuff right here. If you like for your hair to last a week without you having to do like minimal to no refreshing this is the gel for you you need this gel if you take nothing from this video take away the fact that if you don't like to refresh your hair you need to buy this gel 
this is what it looks like this was actually my first wash and go video i did on this baby right here it's amazing like i don't you know the the gorilla glue girl but she was like it don't move like that's this like it does what it's supposed to do i just my only takeaway from it which is not really a takeaway because i still i still use it is that it takes a while for me to be able to pick out my hair but i learned that if you like stretch out your roots with the blow dryer that's not even a problem this must go in the refrigerator if you get this gel you tell me then i work for you the first thing i'm gonna ask you as well did you put it in the refrigerator and you're gonna be like no i didn't you know why because you either didn't read the directions or you skimmed through my video or you didn't watch the one i did when i did a wash and go on it like I already be knowing how y'all get down. It has like a little bit. It smells like strawberries a tiny, tiny bit. Really not that much. I don't have that much in here. It looks like that. Another straggly hair. Yeah. Bomb, bomb, bomb. I'll try to link the wash and go that I did. And just like look at how short my hair was back then. Like crazy. And when all that is done, right? We have to protect our curls. So, you grab your bonnet that is also black owned. Who owns this? I'm going to be honest with you. I forgot and I didn't research it before I started this video. But, I'm going to look it up right now. Should I search bonnet in my email? You think it will come up? Let's see. Found it. See? Emails got everything. Okay. This is the only bonnet I've ever used throughout my um, hair journey. Fear not because it is messed up. So if you think this looks huge and out of shape, that's because it is huge and out of shape because I used it when I got box braids. So I'm not giving this bonnet any justice. So rely not on what it looks like, but what I am telling you. This bonnet is bomb. It has a string that I, of course, <laughs> messed up, which is why there's a knot in it. So that you could tighten it to your desire. It's reversible. So mine has palm trees on this side and then... Bam, it's all pink on this side. So yes, it's from Glow by Day. They are black owns. I'm gonna link them below. I like this bonnet because it has a lot of space. Like you know how sometimes you put bonnets on your head and you get a headache? You don't get that here. It's just, I love it. And they have a lot of like cute patterns and nice colors. And like I said, they're reversible. So yes, Glow by Day. That's what makes these bonnets. Love them. And there you have a black owned wash day. <laughs> I snapped, didn't I? Yes, I did. So, like I said, video short today, but I just wanted to get at least one more thing out for Black History Month. Like, it's March already, but like I said, being black is a full-time job. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Feel free to share this video with your family, your friends, everybody. And yeah, keep harassing me when y'all don't see me posting. I like that y'all do that. So keep doing that. I appreciate that. Y'all be snapping. <laughs> Nisha out.